Hello everybody, slightly sombre note uh, on the Friday. Last night, police in El Dorado Park shot and killed a 16 year old Down syndrome boy. His name was Nathaniel Julius. I'm sure most of you have by now followed the mainstream media coverage of the story. There are two versions. The police version is that he was shot and killed during a crossfire exchange with a gang. The community say that's bullshit, they're covering it up, and that he was shot and killed by SAP's officers after refusing or being unable to answer their questions, uh, being outdoors by himself, uh, because he has Down syndrome. And no matter which way you, you cut it, it's, it's an atrocity, it's uh, disgraceful, and it's a tragedy. Now, segueing off that, there's a lot of relevance here and a lot of relevant talking points in the sense that for many, many years, the SAPS has been moving further, further and further away from what we refer to commonly as the Pelian principles of policing. To summarize what that means, essentially, you can only police a community with its consent. You need the community to buy in to being policed. You need them to be involved in their own policing, to have a stake in it, to trust the mechanisms and institutions at play, and to keep those who are tasked with policing them directly accountable. And the South African model of policing, as heavily centralized as it is, and as politically connected and politically interfered with as it is, and as infiltrated by crime and corruption as it is, frankly, it is just impossible for the SAPs bar the select few dedicated, good, professional uh, police officers who are still very much dedicated to the concept of Bato Pele or people first, as opposed to Bato Tele, uh, for Tele first. Um, apart from those dedicated individuals, the service itself is very, very rotten, as proven by no less than three Institute of Race Relations broken blue, broken blue line reports. And I would be heavily surprised I'm speaking under correction, so if I'm talking nonsense, please do correct me, but I would be incredibly surprised if a single one of the RR's numerous important and pressing recommendations were ever implemented as far as the SAPS is concerned. Now, you've probably sit in a situation where there have never been lower levels of public and community trust in the police, where there have been plenty of killings of unarmed and potentially innocent, maybe not so innocent people in exchanges with the cops, where there has been uh, in increase in violence directed against police and law enforcement by communities because of this breakdown in relationships and trust. And things have gotten pretty much overly out of hand. And this is from out of this type of atro atrocity, there comes an opportunity for meaningful reform in a sense that the police need to address the fact that they are criminally infiltrated, they're corrupt, there is a, a lack of training, there is a, a lack of accountability, a significant lack of accountability, there's a lack of proficiency, there's unfortunately a lot of incompetence, uh, as can be seen by, according to all the reports, that even specialized, highly specialized units like the Special Task Force are practically falling apart from what you read in the expose in The Citizen a few weeks ago. The police should ideally be shut down, the SAPs. Not defunded, shut down and decentralized. You know, a system of federalized policing works. It works in high income countries, it works in lower income countries. This idea that a centralized police service actually can serve the people is ridiculous. It's proven over 26 years that it cannot. The needs of communities are too diverse and unique. There have been failures upon failures of the police to to fulfill their constitutional mandate, stretching from Pretoria to Kailicha to, to rural KZN. It's now time for this decentralization to happen. In the meantime, in the wake of this tragedy or atrocity, regardless of how you view it, Beke Tsele should resign. And if he refuses to resign, he should be fucking fired because he's a corrupt criminal scumbag that is not fit to lead his department. He's not fit to preside over the SAPs. Kekla Sitole, the National Commission, and the entirety of SAP's management should copy him and fall on their swords. And if they refuse to fall on their swords, they should be pushed onto their swords and held accountable for their failure of leading the SAPs and managing it in an appropriate, responsible, and transparent manner. Fuck this bullshit. 
time to fix it. And those that are part of the problem need to be kicked out. Hashtag Futsak Bekitzele, Futsak the ANC, and Futsak Saps Management. Get out of the way. It's time for change. See you all a little bit later.